So oh, you got, guys yeah. are using the web block on this. Yeah, we got the web block on here, which is great. Hey everyone, I'm here with Brian at Current LA, and Brian, you are staying late to give us a look at some of your cars. That's right. Thanks, man. Not a problem. So what do we have here, this first one? Uh, here we got a 1957 Chevy convertible. Okay. Yeah, um, it's, it's, uh, it's electric, of course. All right. And it's got all kinds of good, it's got air ride, it's got uh, you know, stereo system. I mean, it's pretty loaded. Awesome. Features, power, everything. Let's take a look. Yeah. So how long has this been converted? Uh, this has been converted about three years now. And Weekend Warrior, Daily Driver? Weekend Warrior for sure, show car. We've done a lot of shows uh, over the last year with it, especially, um, you know, we've run everything and we've got a lot of custom features on this car that other ones don't have. We make our own uh, custom gauge uh, pod in there. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. Oh, I've got to check that out yeah, for I sure. Yeah, I can fire that up. And then, uh, you know, we've done, like I said, all the suspension and, uh, we make a lot of our own small uh, billet parts and uh, brass parts. Yeah, we got the pump going running in there. Uh, that's really cool. And then down there is the, that's the air control? Right, that's right? the air control. Oh, that's booting up. Pod. Yeah, that's booting up right now. Usually it's on uh, a lot quicker, but I just, it's been sitting. <laughs> That head unit looks looks original, but it's not. Is that is that the oh, deal? The stereo unit. The stereo. Yeah, actually. Or, the, oh, it's underneath. Yeah, it's underneath in the in the glove uh, box. That's there. really cool. Yeah. Okay. And then we do a gauge that usually we'll program it to emulate the original uh, gauge cluster, and it has all your information down here at the bottom. Um, that is really neat. Yeah. Yeah, it works well. I had seen. I'd seen pictures of this car online, but I had not seen that. I'd missed, yeah, I'd missed that detail, but it's yeah, gorgeous. Yeah, we, we did that. We did, uh, it was probably the second year we started adding that to most of the cars. So try to feature that in every one if we can, depending on the dimension and what we have to work with in the uh, in the gauge area. So, and then here's uh, does the hood pop? Can yeah, yeah. Anything to see? Oh, you guys yeah. are using the web block on this. Yeah, we got the web block on here, which is great. Um, and we just polished a bunch of goodies on it and detailed a lot of stuff out, but uh, it, it, it works great. It's awesome, clean look, hides a lot of the componentry within it. Yeah. You know? So it works, it works real nice and uh, gives it that little uh, detailed detailed uh, design touch, you know, cleans everything up a lot. It definitely does. Yeah. This is the first one I've seen in real life. Oh, really? And it's really cool, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. We have a couple uh, a couple other cars, too, that we have the block and I could show you, so. Um, inside that, though, is where the electric motor is tucked in. What what motor is in there? Uh, so we've got the um, Cascadia 225. Oh, okay. And then uh, also this houses a uh, battery pack within the block. Okay. And we have uh, BMS is in there. I mean, all the electronic components would be concealed. In the Everything's in there. Yeah, on these, on the web block ones, I would say, uh, you know, 90% of everything is in that block. Wow. Yeah. What, uh, how big is the battery pack? Oh, yeah, so I, I think this one, it has, we have a pack in the rear, and I think these are a total of 60 kilowatt packs. 60. Total between the two packs. So it's a smaller one up here and okay. a larger one in the trunk. To balance out the weight. Yeah, 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 yeah. And just to give it that like more power. We can only fit so much in here. And this one, actually the motor is on the back where the bell housing would be. Okay. And then beyond that is a torque box. We're from Torque Trends. Yeah. Torque Trends Torque right. Box. Yes. Awesome. Yeah. Um, did you guys consider like the Hyper 9 setup for something like this? Because that, that's like one of the first go-to when people are considering a build. Yeah. Well, you know, we usually do, these just have so much more power. They do. And we really want to, you know, these, uh, the cars that we start with, we really want to get a lot of power. Um, you know, we always want to try to exceed, at, at least exceed the original power in yeah. just about any vehicle that we work on. Um, and these these do that. I mean, it just has that feel. That has that punch off the line. That feels really feels really good. So 
Have you guys taken it to the strip or anything? No, we've driven it. We've driven it, tested it really hard, and we try to get it hot. Try to you know see what we can uh, do to like fault it in any way, yeah. and then address those issues. So okay. we don't baby them. We drive them, and this thing gets a lot of mileage. Uh, you know, three or four of us take them to all different shows. It's usually out almost every weekend, uh, except for when it's like the rainy months. But sure, summertime, it's out every, every weekend. Out of shows all over the place. We we'll go to the beach and everything with it. So yeah, this is. Pretty much been our show baby now for the last year, year and a half. So I recognize the Willwood brakes. Yeah. Um, what is that sound? Is that the cir water circulation for the batteries? No, that, or? that sound actually is a um, the hydraulic pump. That's a hydraulic yeah, pump. Yeah, for the okay. power steering. And we have our reservoirs here. So you got your power steering reservoir, battery coolant, motor coolant. Okay. So it is water cooled battery. Yes. That's pretty sweet. Yeah, it's all liquid cooled. And um, yeah, it circulates now, the key's on. So it, it's actually on right now. That pump will run. And then we have a vacuum pump too that runs, but it's actually fairly quiet now also. Uh, but it all, it all works, all that stuff works flawlessly. Like, you know, we use a Volvo uh, a hydraulic pump. Okay, yeah, the Volvo. quiet it down over some other ones we were using prior. Hmm. Yeah. Was this the first build that you guys completed? This one, and actually that vehicle over there too, the 32 Ford. The 32 Ford, which we'll talk about later. Right. <laughs> <laughs> sneak, <Anyway>. sneak peek. <laughs> How long did it uh, did it take from start to finish? Um, well, the swap part took, it took about a year and a half total. Okay. Um, but we did a lot of back and forth with this car. Um, it was all original stock car when we started, suspension-wise and everything. Now it's got tubular arms, uh, as I said, air ride. It's four-linked in the rear. Uh, it's got wheel-wheel brakes all the way around. Uh, awesome. Full-wheel disc brakes. Um, you know, we went with the 17-inch uh, wire wheels with the bugs, and uh, it gets down pretty low. Put our little center cap on the on the uh, spinners. Do you spin? Off. No, they just they oh, just yeah, spin yeah. on that way. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's got a hump beneath there. But uh, you know, we did we did all the our logo on it and stuff. Yeah, you got to the detail. Check it out. Yeah, we do all the little really details. Nice. So you know, all, throughout the whole thing, we changed the, we changed the interior and updated it. Did a stereo system and tried to hide everything within the interior. You know, it's got a couple speakers showing, but we try to keep it try to keep it clean. Did new carpet, dynamated the whole thing. Uh, but this is Ooh. the paint. We got it with actually with the paint like this. So we just had our uh, buddy do our uh, paint correction on it and clean it up real nice and he keeps it up. So it, it really shows nice. So this, it was actually as a donor car, like pretty good condition. You got, yeah. to, got to do like quality of life upgrades rather than like body work and Absolutely. having to renovate that. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah, that's how this one went for sure. And you know, we're, we do full restorations. Where that's what we really uh, want to do. These cars started out early in, the, in the, this business. We uh, we got these cars for like uh, you know different different reason, and, but these kicked us off. Started yeah. what we're doing now. So kind of interesting. Yeah, we started doing like we worked with Web um, with these motors at first to bring them in to do the swaps, and then uh, we started working on them more and more, and kind of fell in love working on the EV stuff. And, and that's not my history at all. I'm a old school hot rodder guy, but a uh, gas guy, you know? Yeah. But this became so interesting to me. It became a lot of fun. So we've been having fun with it ever since. So we do full restorations, top to bottom, frame off. Everything is what we really do. Um, but these are the cars that we've been showing throughout the year, kind of show people, you know, are the swap mm -hmm. and what we could be doing as far as uh, converting to, to electric. So. That's really interesting. So you guys actually want to do full off restorations, like yeah. you're game for it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's what we look for. In a, in a, we're not, you know, that's we're not shying away. You know, we'll, like you said, we'll go over some other cars too. But yeah. Showing some of the extent that we want to go to to build them, custom one off. That's really cool because yeah. I think I've talked to yeah. some other folks in there. Their like sweet spot is just in the conversion, and they they yeah. like show up with a clean body. Yeah, um, but if, smart. If you're, yeah, right. There's no <laughs> yeah, maybe gremlins I mean, under there. Yeah, I, I look at it like I totally get that point because it's a lot. It's a, it's a whole other game. Yeah, to get into doing you know this whole customizing a car, doing a full restoration. But um, that's my passion. I mean, that's all. That's our passion here. Yeah, you 
and uh, everybody's really into it. And we just love being able to fabricate and make, you know, an amazing car from beginning to end, along with making it. Easy. I think that's really that's really cool because everyone has that car, you know, maybe they've held on to it forever. It was grandpa, grandma's car. Right. And like if you can go to a one stop shop instead of having to like get it renovated one place and then like go into the EV world because that's what you maybe want. This is that's yeah. cool that it's Lots a place. Of stumbles in that in that, you know. Yeah. There's a lot yeah. Of maybe, a lot Communication, of loss and translation. And interior and these different yeah. What if you need a new bracket? Right. Right? And you could just do that like from the get-go yeah yeah and i'll show you around we do you know we fabricate uh, a lot of our own uh pieces we do a lot of stuff in-house which uh, you know for a, a mid-size shop we can accomplish a lot of those sweet some little pieces here and there that other shops maybe maybe you know just that's not their it's not what they're that's not their sweet spot yeah yeah um, awesome well last question on this one um as after you guys you know kind of looking back on it were there any gotchas or like big lessons learned on this particular car or just in the EV swaps in general that uh, oh, yeah. stand out? Oh yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, th there was a lot, uh, mostly in like the software, some hardware uh, stuff that we ran through, you know? I mean, you know, yeah, it's not so bad. Right? But you know what I mean? There's, sure. We, we, There's a learning curve. This, right? yeah, yeah, we've used different products that work really well for us, so other products. You know, didn't work well with what we had, uh, what we anticipated. So, so as, as long as far as like what the final picture looks like, what are you guys using for controller BMS? Is that um, in house or no? We use um, Orion BMS. Orion. Okay. Um, we use the Cascadia uh, motor controllers. Uh, you know, it's built for the motor. Goes with the motor. Right. And uh, yeah, that, that's pretty much. We go with uh, I know a lot of the top name brands. Some of some of the vehicles were going with the VCU, some we're not. Just and, you know, depends. We're always looking into that, and actually we're developing our own VCU. Oh, cool. Yeah, we've got a lot of uh, products in development also that we've been working on for the last couple years. So, you know, hopefully we can get some of that stuff wrapped up soon, and, and you know, then we can try and make these things do whatever we want them to yeah, do. Yeah, that's the dream. <laughs> so that's we'll Have all the little extras and goodies, you know? So, yeah, we're guys, the, um, Brian and uh, Nathan here are working on that stuff all the time. We've got LED light controller uh, units that you know we're working on, and but the VCU will be a hit. That'll be uh, really one of our coolest products. Yeah, so I can't get that wait. Out soon. From people, car people, we're always trying to modify and tune just what we want, and the more options to be able to do that, the better. Absolutely. I yeah, yeah, that. and that's it. It's just a, you know we want to bring stuff to everybody else too. Yeah, it's not just for us. We want to bring something that hopefully will help everybody in the industry. Well, thanks for taking us through this awesome Bel Air, Brian. And uh, well, let's wrap up this one and look to the next one. Thank Ooh, you. Got it.